Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your desktop and applying a dark theme for Windows 10. And this will not harm your PC and this will not take your PC performance. Also, you can always go back to the default theme with just a few simple steps. And before we get started, this theme might not work for pirated Windows versions. So try it out yourself, and let's get into the video. Let's start with taskbar. First I'm going to remove the Windows search bar. And for that, right click on the taskbar, go to search, and click hidden. Also, I don't like this task view button as well. Right click on the taskbar and click on the show task view button if it is checked. Next, go to the taskbar settings. In here, scroll down until you find which icons appear on the taskbar and click on it. What this does is, you can see which apps are running in the background. So keep this on. Next, I'm going to unpan Windows tiles. Personally, I don't like these, and I think it gives a much better look without them. Next, I'm going to configure my taskbar icons to be in the center. And for that, right-click on the taskbar and uncheck the lock taskbar. Again, right-click on the taskbar, go to the toolbars, and click on links. This will display links text in the taskbar. Now drag it to the left corner until the icons appear on the other side. Then drag this line to the center until you think it's just right. After you've done that, Right-click on the taskbar and check the lock taskbar option. Also, do not uncheck this link option, because your icons on the taskbar will be back to their default place. Next, we are going to be installing live wallpaper software. Before that, if you want to download the wallpaper that I use in this video, I'll leave the direct links in the description. Now open up your Microsoft Store and search Lively Wallpaper. Click on this app. Now you need to download this Lively Wallpaper app. For me, I have already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it. This app comes with some default wallpapers as well, but this wallpaper takes up more resources on your PC, so you can use it if you like it. And we are going to add our own wallpapers. So navigate to the Add Wallpaper. And in here, click on Open. Now go to your downloaded wallpapers and select one and open it. In here, you can add information to this wallpaper if you like, such as a description, a title, and a website. I'm not going to do any of these, so I'm just going to click OK. Also this will take 20 to 25 seconds to import the video. And there we go. We just finished applying our live wallpaper. And of course, you can also add any more backgrounds to this app. Okay now let's go back to the wallpaper app again. In the top right corner, navigate to settings. In appearance, you can turn on the start with Windows option if you like. So whenever you start up your PC, this will automatically open up by itself. Now in the audio section, make sure to set the volume to zero because if you have any sound in your wallpaper, it will run in the background. Next, move on to the System tab. In here, you can change your taskbar appearance. For example, if you want it to be transparent, change it to clear. Personally, I like it to be transparent, so I will keep it clear. Now let's take a look at the performance of this wallpaper app. You can see that this has really small memory usage, and it only uses 1.8 CPU so I believe it will be fine for low-end PCs as well. Though in gaming, the performance will be slightly reduced, so I suggest you too if you want to get the most out of your games. Close the live wallpaper app and start playing. Now we are going to the main customization in this video. Download this Windows 10 dark theme pack from the description, and extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now open it and go to the theme patcher folder. In here, you need to remove the dot and these two ladders. Simply right click and click rename, and delete the these two ladders and the dot. After that, click enter, and it will become a RAR file. Now extract it.
and open the extracted file. Now you need to run this as an administrator. Right click on it and click run as administrator. Now in here click next and accept the terms and click next. Click on I agree. After that click install. Click next. Now you need to restart your PC for the next step. After you reboot your computer, go back to the folder. Now go to the second folder, which is dark theme. And here open up this readme text file. Now what you need to do is, copy these dev files and paste them in the given location. First, copy the location path. And go to this PC. And paste it here. Click enter. Now go back to our theme folder. And copy the dev folders. And paste it to the given location. Click continue. Now go to your desktop. And right click on your desktop and click personalize. In here, navigate to the theme section and click on DivX Round. Now go to the colors and choose a color you like to have in your Windows text. And there you have it. Now let's take a look at our dark theme. Now again, go back to our dark theme folder. In the third folder, you can disable or enable thumbnails in Windows folders. This is a personal preference. If you don't like any thumbnails in folders, you can disable them. Now in visual effects, you can customize such things like your animations, mouse pointer, and shadows etc. These are all personal preferences, but this will affect your PC's performance. Change the settings that I have set here if you want to get better performance. Next, we'll look at how to revert back to the default theme. By right-clicking on the desktop, navigate to Personalize. Go to Themes. Now in here, clicking on Windows will return you to the default theme. And what if you want to delete our dark theme that we just added? Simply navigate to the folder where we paste our dark theme. In here, you need to delete the all the dev folders that we pasted here. If you won't be using any custom themes, you should also uninstall the theme patcher that we installed in the first place. And that's it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.